Oh, hello. Welcome back to another. This is a video, and this is Net Dot Attack, a brand new role like Bullet Heaven, Bullet Bullet Hell adventure that's going to come out. This is the demo. I'm not entirely sure when it's going to come out. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be playing this week is going to be like, I guess, like they're coming out maybe like late to late January, early February. But this one, I'm not entirely really sure when it's going to come out. I mean, what got my attention for this is that, uh, I mean, the name is very uh, Java based. Everything is like, you know, computer based. Who equals who? We want you. Yeah, this is very like a uh, Java based shutdown settings. Yeah, so like, uh, we want more crazy pro programming features or have feedback. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me more. Yeah, so this is like a, a, a bullet heaven, bullet hell for programmers. I guess that's why I looking this up. So let's see here. Library. Nothing yet. Life goals. Nothing yet. Okay. Improvements. Coming soon. This is just a demo. Okay. Start dot hacking. Wait, hold on. What is we want you? Okay, that's just the uh feedback. And who? I guess it's for like the uh who the devs are. Yeah, this is the uh credits i do like the presentation it is it, very it's very nice it's very clean you could definitely tell like uh like not just dev programming but like i mean programmers in general like i guess like software engineers worked on this not just gaming designs so, oh you know what what's what else what else shut down that's uh turning it off what else is in the settings Control. There, there is no controls just yet. Demo, okay. Accessibility, camera shake. R, uh, false. Yeah, put it on false. Bloom, and put that on false. Colorblind. I, I don't need, I don't need colorblind. Do I scaling? You know what? Give me the cam camera shake. Profile. Unicorn. Not sure what that means. Okay, well, let's just get into the game. Start hacking. Hey, you there. Would you like to learn the basics or skip straight into the action? Uh, give me the tutorial. Oh, yeah, this, this is this is nice. I like this. So like, I, I guess you're like playing on a grid. Tutorial. All right, Ricky. Seems like you have no clue how to handle this. I will help you. No contradiction. Move with WSD. Yep, got it. Okay, yep, got it. WSD, moving. I like that you're on like a, a motherboard. What is this? What's this process? You you do a processor? All right, hot shot. Let's see if you've got what it takes. Step onto those chips. To pull the data, just two or for now. Prove you can handle it before you get too greedy. Okay. Okay, that one. Get the big one. I get the big one because I mean, I guess it gotta be gotta be more stuff went to it, right? It's big. Two processors. <laughs> I mean, don't ever do this to your computer. Oh, looks like someone else needs my advice. Give me a moment. Try not to die. Okay. Yeah, you're just gonna fry a computer. Survival. Fry the fry them fry the fry the bonus board. Survival. What what's next? Please, just a time, just in time, time to fight back. Hit E to open the coding editor. Show me what you got. Okay, coding editor. Okay, there, here it is. No name with perm parameter for damage and distance. So like, oh man. So like, is this gonna be? Uh, I mean, I know a lot of games that have like uh programming 
is sort of TypeScript because I guess uh I guess having like yeah yeah I guess it's, it's something to do with the, like the I guess you can't have like actual like uh, functions in the game where you're using functions to make the game the game I don't know I don't know it's, it's not a, like a uh, I don't know. It was uh, no name, split, ping, 30 damage, H, N, M, the leaders, do with others. Let's see here. Out port. Can it be connected with an import of other nodes? Do out. Okay. Can be connected with. Oh. And have con conditions to trigger the next connected node. Duration. Duration of the node to be completed and the following code is executed. So do you have to actually like type stuff out or is everything uh, done for you? Because it looks like it's all done for you. Import. It's connected with the output. So kill on tick so like every uh so often every every one second do do with others and then in okay it's connected with outport is executed if condition of the connected outport is met with the previous node is completed so do i have to actually uh okay, shop panel Okay, so that there's stuff like already done for you. You don't have to actually like code. I guess it's better to know exactly what things are. Shop panel offers new nodes to buy and expand your code. New nodes require your collected data. Click on the node to buy. Great. Change the offered nodes. Okay, reroll. Price rerolls increase. Leave your code and return to the game. Okay, now just sell. So what's next? Scan for data chip. Tick. Scan for data chip. Display the direction. Okay, so let's see. Ping random damage. A single layer that targets a random enemy within range and deals damage to it executes following nodes using the bit enemy as a new execute so every point so on tick every to going to attack then on hit oh I don't have any more start hacking nice work for a newbie but don't forget data is the goal here get back to gathering okay so my code my code is my code my code it is it's not working hold on hold on Press E. Let's see. Okay, that should be it. Well, look at you now. Data in hand and ready to roll. You could head out for now, but hey, no one's forcing you. Stick around if you're feeling bold. 
I am I shooting? Okay, there yeah, I'm shooting now. Picking up data. Anything else? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the exit. You actually made it to an end. Made it and are ready to try your luck on the mainland. Don't worry. I'm watching. Coming soon, coming soon. Island. Okay, let's see. Password. Password. Security level password. Face only a few weak guards and take your first steps into getting hold of secret data. No reason of feeling nervous. Limited time. Steal data from chips. Plus one. Plus 100% threat level. 23456. Devil. 200. Let's just start it off easy. High score highs. So it's like what an endless mode. Challenge your skills and compare your results with other hackers. We will survive the long. Yeah, okay. This is like a, a endless mode. Okay, let's just start with the uh, the regular stuff. Locked. Okay, regular. Let's see where am I? sequence the executor executes the following nodes one after the other does not change the executor tick ping near damage okay, yeah split ping ping near Hold on, which one is this single layer that targets the nearest enemy this one is single layer in range 30 30 in here you know what give me give me two of these do do that then on hit overclock overclocks the targets for three seconds damage dealt to overclocked units is doubled well that's an end that's an end point it's an end point you know what? What if I buy this? That's a point one second. Clocks in three seconds. Damage dealt to overclock. This is double. Additionally, each node executed by an overclocked executor deals double damage. Oh, you know. You double. It you double the next I'll do like a overclock or maybe a ping strongest. Okay. Any enemies, Jeff? Pierces. So it does look like there's like a. You give me like stuff. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, those like uh, those little nodes do give like a. Uh, they don't always give XP. I kind of wish that they always gave XP. See what level up does. It's a power up. Okay, so I did level up. Data leech. 
data upload speed, death beam, ping damage increase, load cost reduction. Let's do damage increase. So let's see here. Let's remove this. One hit. Do overclock. We do like a, a second one. So it should be like a. Okay, so like, yeah. So you fire first and then overclocks him then with that overclock damage it hits the uh the nearest gotcha i'm shooting two now go overboard See what happens when you get the whole the whole motherboard. All right. Exit. 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 Player speed, player health, energy saving. Reduce the cost of nodes by 10%. Yeah. Let's see here. So is this persistent? Oh, they're, they're coming in droves. Oh, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a eye. There's a eye. There's a eye of the storm. Okay, you gotta get out. So we got. Pick your premium node. Spawn spiral projectile. Spawns a projectile that spirals around the execute the executor. Dealing damage. Four. Executes the following node multiple times. Does not change the executor. Hmm. So like. I can do. Do. In, then do overclock like uh, three times. Oh, what does overclock? Does it stack? What does it say? Four. Create a circular zone with a displayed radius, forcing all enemies inside to execute the following nodes. Spawn spiral. Spiral projectile. Spawn a projectile that's ill. You know what? Look at the four. Then two, four. Overclock uh, three times, then split. The nearest enemy within range, and this one, the nearest enemy within range, excuse me, following two nodes to parallel using the hit as a new execution. I guess I'll just uh, hit twice. Scan for data chip sequence. Execution execute the following nodes one after the other. Does not change execution. Tick. Let's see here. 
think I want to reroll. See something better. Overclock. Damage in range on tick. Seeing the same thing. Damage in range. You know what? Let's just start. Struck the data. So far, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. But again, more old series. Good stuff. Again, more like a. Uh, you don't really have to know any programming to get into it. Fiberglass, node damage. Increase the damage of your nodes by 30%. Infection damage is, ex is excluded. Skill farmer. XP value. Get an overclocking. Okay, so that's the exit right there. Is there anything that like oh, oh wait, oh no. Is there what is there anything that you can do that uh is there any like reason that you want to go over the limit of the data? Maybe it's just like uh I oh, don't know, maxing out a level, I guess. There is a I have oh there's a there's a dude there. Is a, a big one. And there is like Eye of the Storm. Okay, so now I'm starting to get more XP. Data leech. Yeah, it, it upload speed. There's no dash. At least there's no like a there's no dash yet. Oh, what is this? Will you explode? Okay, the eye of the storm is coming. Boom, there's one more thing left. Oh, here it is. Okay, got it all. Why not just stay around and collect levels? Okay, I had a storm. Fight defender, player health, no damage, player speed. Let's get speed. I mean, this is like an interesting uh, survivor, like damage in line goes to the right, spawn mine. Or you know it, you hit. Mine. Don't take the mine. Then on hit, spawn a mine. Then on kill. Let's reroll this. Let's give me something. Display the direction to the nearest data chip. Sequence. You know, let's, let's see something. Hold on, ping overclock. Single layer, laser, 
targets the nearest overclocked enemy. Okay, hold on. Overclocked. Six ninety. I, I could buy. I could buy this. Ping overclock. Then on hit. Damage in range spawns a circular electronic shock wave. You know what? Oh wait. Hold Let's move stuff around. So on it, the split ping going to do damage in range, spawn a circular electric shock wave. So on hit, going to spawn a mine. On kill, going to What if, on, what if on a mine kill, you spawn a mine? Yeah. Is it overkill? Sure. But why not for science? That, that that is that is okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty sick. Dude, like it's okay. This is awesome. We're just spawning mines on hits and on kills. Is it chain relax? Oh, is it chain reaction? Yeah, this is like the the coolest setup I've I've ever seen. Exit level already. Uh, give me, give me, uh, give me a level up. Level me up. I should get like the uh the next. Hold on. Where, where's the uh? Hold on. I'll take. Where is it? Sequence and reroll. Give me the one that like a uh, scan for. Yeah, give me this. Scan for shit. But where do I put this? Ping in here. Scan for data chip. Yeah, give me this. How do you uh? Can you sell something? Scan for data chip. Ping overclock. Single layer that targets nearest overclocked enemy. Mm -hmm. Would this work? I need, I need to like organize my my code oh what just happened on the hit yeah, how often do I even hit overclocked enemies I think this is working the four. So like I guess I should do Hold on. Hold on. Check this out. Check this shit out. 
split, do this three times, split ping three times, so you want to spawn, damage in range, going to hold on let's do two mines on kill is going to scan for data Then there's no overclock. No, I don't think I need. I don't think I need this. Do overclock. Then on hit. Ping near, damage in range. Oh, this is a circular. So let's see here. No, wait, no, wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I do need that. I do need that to be there. Although, Yeah, the spawning the mine after the kill is is pretty is is pretty good. Scan for data chip. I think I'll just do like scan for data chip like on his own. Put that down there. It. Then overclock enemies, you will mm. overclock, overclock. You like a is this like an infinite loop of overclocking? Sequence and don't need that. Start. Energy saving, skill farmer, XP, build enlarger, damaging radius increase. Yeah, I think that also, because that goes with the, uh, with the mines. Can't help but notice that the, uh, scan for data isn't, isn't working. Check my code. Code your virus. Let's see here. Scan for data chip. Unless I'm missing something, uh, I don't think I, I see anything. You go like the shop. I 
Eye of the Storm is coming. Yeah, I mean, the on kill mind spawn. Did you save no fiberglass? Player speed. W lane amplifier node for node AOE radius. Oh, that's 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 going to be. You should get like pickup range. This will just stay like around here where the uh, exit is. Just to farm up on energy. All right, all right. Oops. Death beam. Did you save it? No, 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 no. Just give me fiberglass. Yeah, so far, this is cool. I like it. Spawn spiral projectile. Do I already have this? Let's spawn mine. Spawn spiral projectile. Spawn the spiral projectile that arounds the execution the ex executor projectile. Give me the uh, spiral, and then you know what? I don't think I need a. Uh, I don't know if it's just me. A scan for a data chip is it really like working or at least I'm not like uh, or like I'm not seeing everything that's supposed to be let's move that it wasn't even hooked up move it back for loop Then on the hit, spawning projector, damage range, I take this off, I'm going to do this, to we should get like another on Tick. That's a point seventy-five. Oh, you know what? The more nodes, the more of these processors, the more the on tick is uh was working. Let's get another on tick. I wonder if this on tick is uh separate, or if I have to like actually, you know, do stuff with it. Let me just check something. No, it's, it's definitely like you have to. Uh, again, second one on tick. Search for data. You're searching for data. Then damage in range. Overclock. I already have an overclock. I do overclock, a over, over overclock. What if I just get like a just double overclock? Just double it right there. Yeah, the more uh, processors, the, the longer they on tick. Okay. Got it. near damage so it's kind of it's kind of nothing spawn mine spawn mine on kills on hit going to 
ping random? Spawn spiral. I'll only buy one more thing. Ping random. Sure, I'll buy that. Then ping random. I'm just gonna do like a uh, gonna do on the second tick, second processor. Oh, you know what? Spawn projectiles. Nah, nah, that's, that's not gonna. It's not gonna work. So every 1.35 seconds, this process is going to do all of this at every 2.4. So all of this, start hacking. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's vampire like, it's vampire. Is vampire for uh, programmers or object oriented programmers? I wonder how big the uh, oh, okay. Well, the demo did show like uh, it's only one uh, area, but like how big is this area? Yeah. Okay, so it does show like the uh. The next, like a uh, node. Oh, that shows the exit. Still can't help but to notice that the uh, still has not shown me where the uh, the other like data nodes are. Like a, uh, it does show where the uh, the exit is. Oh, I'm, I'm done. Done with the level? Nope. There's one more. Yeah, so far, this is like, I mean, this is a very different take on the whole, like, the whole, uh, bullet heaven. Is that a super one? Party Crasher. Damage in range. Fight defender. Def defender. Energy saving node. Uh, no cost reduction. Yeah, like I'm only need to buy like more nodes. Any more XP? Okay. Storm is coming. Uh, stick around here till the walls start caving in. Skill of armor, yeah, XP. Agreed. Damage in line. On space. Oh, is that is this dash? On space press. Executing the following nodes with the player as the exec executor each time the space bar is pressed for every 10 seconds that have passed since the last press. You know what? This is better for the uh 
think this will be hold on, wait, wait. I think this will be better for the uh the overclock. Do three instances of overclocking. Two instances. So every time I press the space bar, executes the following nodes with the player as the exec executor each time the space bar is pressed. Once for every 10 seconds that have passed since the last press. Okay, so every 10 seconds, I gotta overclock an enemy. Do I have anything else that, like, uh, I should be adding? Oops, I, I did I did something wrong. Get that overclock. It. I don't wish they use the uh, WSD to move around instead of the uh, instead of the pressing the the mouse the middle mouse because not everybody has a middle mouse it's just uh move this on over to the middle Let's see what would be a good quality of life change is have this uh have this collapsible that you can press a collapse on because this is gonna like take up a lot of the space on the screen. Yeah, making this collapsible would be very nice. Oops, what just happened. Being random. Every time you overclock, you excuse the phone. It's one after the other. Every time you overclock, you ping weak. Targets the weakest, lowest remaining health enemy within range and deals damage to it. Pings weak. I think I save, save up money. Yeah, I save. So that's how the uh, space bar. Really need the uh, okay, so it is showing now.
Look at all the XP. Data Leech, Speed, Skill Farmer, Ping Damage. I think I need Ping Damage. I mean, the mines are like doing amazing. I think uh, Data Leech, so I can get more data faster. And also, whoa, you, you shoot? Okay, so Iron Storm is coming in. Yeah, like this is definitely a wish list. Oh, don't, don't, don't go in yet. This is a wish list for me. I'm gonna be waiting patiently for this to come out. Yeah, I need pickup range. What if there's like a uh? There's like something like some a code that gives me like a something to do about pickup. No damage, field enlarge. Give me more XP. Agreed. this right get out of there thanks for oh that was it you successfully completed your data ice reach circuit layer six collect the data five thousand connection time I, I think that's false kill defenders continue with another character or or higher difficulty oh yes level selected we'll be playing another character Oh, there, there's already Hopa. What is this? With her four each in range, she will track your enemies down. And there won't be a turn. There will be a cure for her infection. So there's like a. So I guess infection is uh, something. Well, let's, let's go back. I mean, yeah, this is net dot attack, a roguelike vampire survivor like, also hacking programming. I got a little, got a lot of uh programming into it. I mean, if you don't know program at all, that's okay because it does it all for you, and it is object oriented with a very uh, I do like the style of this. It's very clean, straightforward. I don't really have to like uh search a lot it's, it's just it's just right there it's almost a whizzy wig but yeah this is going to be it for the video for today if y'all like it if you want to see more subscribe to see more in the future and until then see y'all later i'm definitely going to be playing like more of this later on